Hello friends, this workflow is about the solution for create high quality renderings from your printed screens or from your renders. Okay, so let me show you. At first, if you have a simple printed screen without any color, you can use the first part for text to image. If you have some colors and you want to have similar output with your color, you can use image to image technique and also you have the cos XL edit version for keeping the colors. In this workflow, I am using a new checkpoint with the name of colors from Kuwai. And if you check the Hugging Face page, you can see that it's a solution for creating photorealistic renderings. So here you can generate your first pass with three different solutions. After that, here I have a pass for iris fix and it can refine the image a little. After that, there is another pass for using ultimate as the upscale and the quality will be much more higher and you can see here. And finally, I have another pass for manual mask refining. For example, if you have a problem in some specific point, you can mark it with a mask and after that you can process exactly the area. And let me show you the quality of the output. Actually, I think I test for more than a thousand different parameter and these are the results. So finally, I fine tuned the workflow. Let me show you. And here you can see that the quality of the lighting structure or for example, the stride pixels is very fine because normally in SDXL, it was not possible to create images, something like this, or these are some other examples. And you can see, for example, about the roof tiles or about the tiles on the wall, everything is much more better. Another rendering with different mood. And I like this render because really the mood of the image is perfect, the lighting, shadows, everything. And also this image. And if you check the details, you can see the texture is very fine in the image. And you can see some different variation. These are some samples and I generate all these samples with this workflow. So you can see that how much it can be powerful. For example, take a look to this image. And if you check the very, very far windows, still you can see that they are correct. But normally in SDXL or SD 1.5, actually it was not possible to make that. And these are renderings from same building. And you can see that really, really the feeling is, is very realistic. It's very realistic. And yes, you can check and you can see that how it's trying attention to the objects, colors, shadows, and every other thing in your image. There are many, many different samples. And for example, about this sample, I tried to keep some part of the rendering, for example, about the bricks. And I tried some different conditions, but the brick and the door are stay on the same situation. And these are some other results. So for example, easily you can see that the result is very realistic. And for example, you can mask the result with uh, your original render. These are some different renderings from same building. And just these are some samples to show you how this setup 
could be powerful and useful. For example, take a look to this render. And or this one. Same building with different material, with different environment, with different conditions. To make it easy, I try to separate and split the workflow in some smaller parts. At first here, I have some group for loading the image. Here I am some notes for writing the prompt. After that, some nodes for doing text encoding, some nodes for loading the latent VAE, some nodes for loading the IP adapter, two different loading checkpoints for normal checkpoint or in-paint checkpoints. And after that, these are my uh, outer groups. Uh, so I want to show you everything from zero, okay? So I want to show you how to set how at first how to make a simple setup and after that if you want you can add more detail to your workflow. Okay, the first step is loading colors in the Comfy UI. And for loading the colors in the Comfy UI you should install extension. You can go to manager and search for color and install the Comfy UI colors M set. After installing, you can go to the minus zoom colors and all the nodes that you need are on the root. Okay, so at first I want to use chat glm3 text encode advanced v2. Okay, so this is a node that can uh, encode your text and encode your prompts so normally uh, we are using clip text encoder but for you working with colors you should load this after that if you click on this area and release the mouse from here you can search for chat glm and you can find it here load chat glm tree model and here you can see that I have three different versions, 4-bit, 8-bit, 8-bit, and FP16. Uh, if you want to download this model, you can check the link from here. And this is the chat GLM. You can download the checkpoint from this link here. And after that, you should place the downloaded in the models and LLM folder. So if you don't have any LLM folder, you should create that. Let me show you. Okay, this is my Comfy UI, models, and LLM. Checkpoints. And here you can see that I have downloaded three different versions, but FP16 can work very, very better. So here I should load the FP16. And this is for text encode advance. Also, I should load a text encode V2, okay, because for uh, the advance will be used for the positive and this one will be used for negative and also this need some engine for processing the prompt okay i need a case sampler but if you check my workflow you can see that i am working with sampler custom advance because i want to implement also align your step scheduler so here i'm doing so sampler 
custom advance. Okay, and from here, I should search for a noise. Okay, it will define my seed number. Actually, this is seed number. From the guider, I need a CFG guider. Okay, and I should connect the positive and negative to my CFG guider, and after that, it will be my CFG. Also, I should load the model. And if I go here, I can find the node with the name of color unit loader V2. And from here, I should load the checkpoint. I renamed the checkpoint to white colors unit, so I can easily detect that. After that, I should define a sampler. And from here, I should search for K sampler select. And this is my favorite sampler. And here from the Sigma, I should search for align your step. We can start with 20 step and set the mode to SDXL. And also you need some latent. So here search for empty latent image. Okay, so these are the minimum nodes that we need for start processing. After that, I should click here and search for VAE decode node. I should load a VAE. So I can click here and search for VAE. From the VAE loader, I can download, I can use a colors VAE FP32. Okay, actually, I download this VAE especially for color, and you can find the link in the video description. And after that, I can save the image. So, for example, here, let me write my prompt. And from here, let me execute the prompt. It will take some time to loading the checkpoint. After that, uh, loading the chat GLM3 model. And after loading the chat GLM, it, it will start to process your prompt. And after processing the prompt, we can see some preview in the sampler custom advance. So we should wait for that. Okay, this is the output and Really, the quality is not fine. So let me adjust the resolution. 1024 in 1024. And again, execute the prompt. For the second time, you can see that the processing starts very fast because actually everything was loaded on the RAM and also the prompt was processed. Okay, and you can see the quality. All right, so based on this setting, this is the quality that we can get. So here I have some suggestion. If you go to the CVT AI, you can find a custom checkpoint. It's a fine-tuned version with the name of Open Colors. You can download the checkpoint and place it in the in your checkpoints folder. Uh, so already I have done, and also there is a LoRa with the name of Realistic at Detailer. And also, please note that you should use this LoRa with 0.78 as a stretch. So let me do these settings. At first, I should load Open Color V13, and after that, I want to add the LoRa. LoRa for 
color. The name is color flux and 0 0.78. And after that, you can connect it to the sampler. And again, let me process the image. <coughs> Okay, with the same seat number uh, the colors and lights are slightly better but here still I can see some problem okay now I should add perturb attention guidance okay and this is working very very well with color and I should connect it to my sampler also I should increase the steps to 40 and start processing after adding the perturbed attention and increasing the steps you can see that all the details in the image is correct for example about the window of the building and other things but the image is very burned so now I should use a another node with the name of automatic cfg okay it's an extension and you should install that on your conf ui and connect it to here again let me process the image it's a little better but still the image is burned before Decreasing the CFG also I want to add another node with the name of apply CUDA generator and it's working only with color so maybe it can help us to increase the speed just let me do the test and make sure so the last time the image was generated in 27 seconds now it's same and one second more but if you have multi gpu on your computer it can help you okay so by the way now i can bypass the render and decrease the cfg number to for example some number around 1.5 and start processing <coughs> okay here you can see the image and I think now it's much more better uh, let me add some more details for my prompting okay at first after installing the layer style utility you can see this group of nodes with, with the name of DZ nodes and if you go to the utility and go to the prompt, you can find this node, Florence to image to prompt. So if you send some image, it can convert your image to prompt. Let me load image. For example, this image. And also I should load and add another node for loading the Florence checkpoint I think it will automatically download the checkpoint on your computer and to check the text preview you can search for any and from here you can select display any it's coming from RG3 extension and if you right click you can see that it's trying to load the checkpoint analyzing the image and writing some prompt for the image and it's writing the image show a modern two-story house with white exterior and it's it's trying to describe the scene and we can select some different solutions for describing the image i think simple caption Yes, I think detailed caption could be fine. And now I want to send this text into the text encoder. So I should convert the widget to input and say, select the text to input. I can connect the text to here. 
So let's start processing. So now, because we sent some new text, again, it should process the prompt. So because it was a house in the winter and in mountain area, it's trying to create some image based on that prompt. Uh, if I select some simpler sampler like Euler, then we can get some interesting result and maybe we can increase the CFG. Let me test another seat. Really, I like the details in the image and totally the quality is very higher than SDXL. Okay, I think it's perfect. And just another trick. Most of the time I'm using SDXL prompt styler. It's extension and you should install that. Just search for SDXL prompt styler and you can find it. Also, you can find the link in video description. We can connect the prompt styler to positive and also to negative. And for the positive field, again, I can connect the text from Florence to prompt styler. So also now I can select some style. Mm, for example, uh, luxury style. And let me go only with caption. So it, it can generate a simple prompt, a large white house in the middle of the snow field. And this is my prompt style, luxury. So let's see the result. Here, if I change the style to, for example, something like cinematic, it's really realistic and perfect image. Okay, so. This is a simple workflow for loading the colors. Now let me make a copy. Okay, now let me make a copy from this workflow. Okay, I can make a group for them. And write a title for my group. Simple. Let me turn off them and let's go here. Okay, now I want to do another thing. I want to implement control net inside the, this workflow. Uh, if you check the hugging face, you can see that there are some control net, depths, canny, and also IP adapter and in painting model and pose we have them but totally i want to tell you that the con we have two control net that are very useful one of them is canny another one is dips and if you check the information you can see that the control nets that are released for the color can make really great quality so i test them and they are very, very fine and perfect. So let me implement them inside the workflow. Okay, here we have the conditioning. Now I should you work with control net. So you know that I am working most of the time with 
advanced control net so at first connect positive negative positive and negative uh, for example here I have the image but the image is too large I think the size is 1328 in 1328 and before loading the image in the comfy UI or before injecting the image into the into other nodes from layer style utility I am using a node with the name of image scale by aspect ratio v2 so at first I'm sending the image to here setting the letter box to crop scale to side I will I will select total pixel 1024 is perfect and in round of multiple most of the time I'm selecting 128 or 256 so it will automatically crop your image and make a perfect size for working with control net or creating the unit also here this is my latent size and I can convert the width and height to input and I can send the width and height from this image so if I load any other image with any other separation it can update my latent size with some correct dimension now it's a time to send the image to control net but for example for processing canny at first i should extract the canny line from the image so i am using the canny edge preprocessor and i should check the preview of the image so let me do that also let me adjust the resolution I think I can decrease the load threshold and in processing the image okay now I think it's better and I can send this image to control net I should load the control net and for loading the control net that are designed for color I have some specific node with the name of color control net loader so only you can load the canny and depths with this control net node okay and here I can start processing so it will extract some prompt from this image sending the prompt into the node adding some style with sdxl prompt styler and after that it will use the canny line for generating image with control net And also our latent size is in same. Okay, you can see that only with one canny line it can start generating image very very similar. Also please let me add a image compare node. This is the image B and this is image. Let me change my sampler. And also, also here in the advanced text encoder, I should define the width, height and target width and target height. So uh, I can convert them to input let me bring this note down to input target 
okay and convert okay now i can connect the width height okay and also i change the sampler and let me start processing the prompt you selected because i changed the resolution again it should encode the prompt so this time it can generate a better image but really still the quality is not perfect no okay now i should connect the scale soft weight and start processing while that i want to add another control net for processing also the depths so let me make a copy from these nodes connect positive negative positive and negative now i should load the depths and also i need some preprocessor for depths and depths anything v2 i think it's working perfect okay after connecting the scale soft weight you figure out you easily you can see that the quality of the image is improved and now really it's very very better but i think it's a little different with our original dimension so when I adding the depth also, maybe it can generate something more accurate and also with high quality. And in our style, we have selected cinematic. And this is the prompt. Okay, let's see what will be happen this time. this time i think it's much more similar to our structure and also the quality is better so now maybe we can because we have two control nets maybe we can change the strange to 0.6 and 0.6 for both of them and again let me process the image now because it has some freedom the quality will be much more realistic but maybe it will be a little different with our geometry If you check the workflow already you can see that i have fixed the numbers and with this setup it has great flexibility and also quality <laughs> both of them so here also you can check but really the lighting and all, every other parameters related to the image is perfect. I want to add some area for writing my prompt. Okay, because now I can't write any prompt. The prompts are generating from the image. And after that here I am selecting some uh, style. So if I want to add, I should add a text box from utility from data I can add a text box and after that I should search for uh, text concate it's coming from WAS node suit but also the 
maybe you can find many other nodes that are doing same and I can send the prompt from the image here and after that send them to okay okay everything is working now let me make a copy from this workflow and this time I want to add the IP adapter so for adding the IP adapter you should download the models from the Hagen page so for example here if you go to the IP adapter you can find the IP adapter model and also the clip vision you should download and rename these models this is the clip vision and on the first page it was the IP adapter already you can find the names in description okay now let me add the IP adapter and for applying the IP adapter maybe I can start with by working with IP adapter advance so I should connect the model to model and this model to here for the IP adapter I should use IP adapter model loader and from here search for color okay after downloading I rename that to color dash IP adapter plus for the clip vision I should load clip vision loader and also from here you can find the name because I renamed the clip vision model it's very easy to see it here and I have to load the image for using as a reference hmm. for example this image okay I want to use this image as the reference uh, and for the clip vision that we are work that will work with color it's working based on 336 pixel so you should resize the image to 336 pixel and again the best note for doing that I think is I prefer to work with this node image scaled by asset ratio but for example you should select the highest and here you can write 336 and in a separation select one so it will try to resize the image and after that we can connect the image to IP adapter the quality will be much more better to see the effect of this image only let me connect the output of the text without any style luxury modern house with a snow covered mountain background okay um, excuse me and let me for the negative leave it empty change the color okay so now only I sent a simple prompt and the style is coming from this image and also from here it's better to select the style transfer so let's load the image start the processing and see what will be happen here
Okay, so here you can see that the sky, the floor, some grasses, and some color mood are very, very similar to the reference. And this is how we can implement the IP adapter in color with control net. Okay, let me make a group and select a title for my group. And make a copy. Mute the group. So this time I want to add uh, image to image technique. So let me show you a sample. Okay, now this is another scenario. Uh, I sent this image and this is the prompt modern black and white house with orange accents. And this is my photography style. And this is the output. Okay, you can see that the output is different with the colors that we have in the image because sometimes maybe you want to do some post-processing on the image and it will be much more important to keep the similar colors. So now what we can do? After finishing the render, I can explain to you. Let me cancel the processing. The first thing that maybe you can try is playing with denoise. So let me set the denoise to 75 and start processing. So it's trying to get some information from the image but we didn't send the information to the latent. I should use a VAE decode, VAE encode, excuse me. And here I should connect the VAE to the node and send the image here. Start processing. Okay, this is the first trick that we can use. So we sent the color of the image with this technique to the latent. And also we are injecting the prompt and some other parameters. And let's see and check the quality of the output. Okay, you can see that for example, about the environment, trees and grass, it's much more better. Uh, but for example, here it added, it decided to add some windows, some other tiles and the facade. So uh, in this case, I want to add another control net. Okay. And before adding another control net, I should change the weight of this current control net. This time I want to use tile control net. Okay. But actually there is not any official tile control net for color. So now I can use another node with the name of apply control net patch for color. I should connect the model to here. After that, I can load the control net model. And from here, I can search for tile, TT plant tile, control net realistic V2. FP16 and I should send the image 
but the original after resizing the image this image and increase the strength decreasing the on the arm conditioning multiplier and it will be more similar to my image decreasing the denoising amount and start processing oh also i should connect the control net to here okay still so we can see some additional details on the building but for example there is not any new window here it tried to add some new details but with same structure and same coloring and if you play with unconditioning multiplier base multiplier or a strange the result will be different but sometimes for using and working with post-processing maybe it will be interesting actually i spent more than two or three days to find some good balance between these numbers and i figured out that some numbers between or like this can work fine and here you can see the quality and now also this image is much more realistic okay now I can also if you want to use IP adapter you can do that but already because you have the source image with your source style using the ip adapter maybe will not be useful for you and this is the reason that i connect the output from this node directly to the cfg guider all right so until now we made a simple workflow for loading color takes to image with control net adding IP adapter and also image to image. Now I want to explain about CosXL. It's not related to the Kawaii colors. It's something completely different. Uh, so let me make a copy from this workflow and paste it here. um for example i don't need the lora and i don't need this node and i don't need this node about the ip adapter i can select sdxl plus and for the clip vision maybe i can select this model now i should load a checkpoint and in the checkpoint i can select cos xl edit i place the link for downloading the checkpoint and also i don't need any control net because cos xl cannot work with control nets I don't need the, these text encoders I don't need this node this node, this node, I don't need them just about the latent okay, it's fine we can keep the old nodes for the VAE, I should connect the VAE directly from the checkpoint. Okay. And I should add clip text encoder. Okay. And here I can convert. positive and negative for the CFG guider I should use 
dual CFG guider okay and connect the positive connect the negative and again connect the negative if you check the reference here here you can see oh excuse me i forgot to add the add to add this now instruct pix to pix conditioning also this is very very important so before adding this i should add pix instruct pix to pix conditioning I should connect the positive and negative here. Positive will go to count one and negative go to count two. Okay, and I don't need this node. So with this parameter for this CFG, for your negative, go with 1.5 and for the upper, you can go with five. Also, you should connect the VAE and also your image information and you can connect the latent to here. So, for example, now if I write winter here and process the prompt, oops, I should connect the model. It should load the checkpoint. And after that, it's trying to change the mood of the image. So also this checkpoint sometimes is very useful for post-production or changing the environment. But about keeping the colors of the building, actually maybe it can't work very well. But really you can see the effect is very interesting. And now if I only send this text, winter, only a prompt with the name of winter, and let me And for the negative, okay, it can work with prompt styler. Maybe the result will be more interesting because previously it added black and white and something like that. So this time it's more interesting. And now if you increase the negative conditioning, the result should be more similar to your original image. So by increasing the negative conditioning, the result will be more similar to the original image. So it's trying to add some snow and winter mood to existing image. So sometimes it's very interesting to play with these two CFG parameter. Maybe I can go with 
2.5 and also decreasing the first CFG. So maybe the balance between them will be more interesting. So the upper CFG is for affect of your prompt and the lower CFG will define the pixels that should be similar to your first image. So you should play with them, but for the starting, set the first one to five and the second one to 1.5. And after that, try to increase that. So maybe you can find a good balance of numbers for your project. Okay, now uh, you learned everything about the colors and also COSXL edit. So after that, in this workflow, I have added a high-res fix. So I tried to upscale the image and I sent it 1.3 times and I sent it to a processor. So this setup is very, very similar to image to image. I am playing with denoise and this is tile control net. And after that, this is a simple upscale workflow, but again with tile control net and playing with denoise. So this is very, very important. And um, because because I changed the dimension of the processing. Again, I get the new dimension I, and I sent them to text encoder advance. And also for ultimate step scale, because I should define the tile size for processing the image. I define the number and I sent the number to ultimate step scale and also my clip text encoder. And for upscaling and refining, I am using some simple prompt with this prompt style. So, and in the final pass, okay, I am using detailer debug. And here, this is preview bridge and it can get the image from the node and you can right click and open, click and open in mask editor. After that, I have added a node for converting the mask to segment. And here I have added another control net node for applying the control net. So I am using same control net from here, tile control net. And I'm trying to process the image and the only parameter that I change is that I set up the guide size 2024. It's all. And this is the saved image now. If you have any question, you can ask and maybe I can record another video for this part. Uh, by the way, you can download the ready workflow from my Patreon page and you can test all these parameters. Hope to see you soon. Oh, also don't forget that you can use the IP adapter with COSXL. Let me show you. And sometimes the result will be very interesting. And here you can see the fog, the sky, blossoms, and many other parameters are very similar to the reference. Okay, so hope to see you soon. And if you have any question, you can ask in the comments. Thank you. Bye-bye.